Hey everybody, Paul Adama here. I was thinking about leadership and how do we get our inspiration and are there materials or resources out there that can help us explore leadership in ways that are light, that are joyful, and that kind of hit the points of, you know, showing up, going first. You know, how you demonstrate your behavior is more important than what you say. And a book that keeps coming back to mind as I'm thinking about this is The Five Dysfunctions of a Team by Patrick Lencioni. I've listened to the book, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 times, the audiobook, because the voice acting by whoever narrates it is just fantastic. You know, he, he does a lot of character work. He helps you think through, you know, what are the what are the elements of the characters by changing the voices. And of course the author, you know, the writing is so well done in terms of feeling the experience of essentially a, it's really about a um, tech company, a tech startup company that is going through hard times and they hire a new CEO named Catherine. And you kind of go through the experience with Catherine about what she learns about the company, how she tries to get her C-suite and VPs, that leadership team, to actually go through an experience and connect to each other and then actually improve. And how she is portrayed and how they all portrayed is just really interesting in ways to explore how we think about leadership and also to kind of picture these leaders in our mind and probably compare them to other leaders we've actually had in real life. So I recommend thinking about, you know, listening to this book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team by Patrick Lencioni. It's just, it's really interesting the kind of character work that he creates and how we can show up as leaders. Because we can all do better. We can all explore better. We can all learn to be humble, especially as men. We need to learn how to be humble. Am I the best leader? Absolutely not. Am I the best coach? Absolutely not. Do I need to share that all the time? No. But at the same time, it's really important to come into a space when you're working with a client or working with a team, especially leaders, to say, you know, here, I'm here to help. I don't have the answers, but together we're going to explore them together. We're going to figure out what they can be. And that's a way of using humility, which is a really powerful thing. And of course, it can't be faked but to explore using humility to be a better leader and to help other leaders. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.